This is episode 130 of the Rise Up Podcast. We're a morning radio show hosted by Steve and Tim on Family Life, a network of stations across New York and Pennsylvania. This podcast is a weekly conversation designed to help you think and laugh and keep your eyes on Jesus. If you haven't already, subscribe today so you don't miss a single episode. And find out more about our show at familylife.org. Sharing the message of hope. It's Rise Up with Steve and Tim on Family Life. What can God do with challenging traits in your child? Mm. Oh, it's amazing. God can do wonderful things. Maybe, maybe, no, he can. God can change those challenging traits into valuable characteristics as your child gets older and even into adulthood. That's what we're talking about here because, yes, people, not just children, but let's just take children— they have uh, some challenging traits sometimes because <laughs> right. they're they're born that way. Right. You know, they they born they're born yeah. with things like. Let me just bring up one. Sure, kids can be stubborn. <laughs> I want something. No, you can't have it. I want something. <laughs> you can't have it. I want something. That's right. stubborn, right? Right. Sure, but it's not attractive necessarily. You don't want your child to grow up being now 25 or 30 years old and keep I want going. this. <laughs> right. Yeah, I want something. <laughs> that, that doesn't go so well at the workplace, does it? Nah, doesn't go so well. So let's just take stubbornness as a beginning. Stubbornness can become, when used correctly, and God can mold it, and you as parents can help mold it, but God's in charge here. Stubbornness can become persistence. You know, right now there might be pushing the envelope a little bit and pushing your buttons, but uh, battles of will, they can be exhausting. But With that God-formed character, stubbornness Mm. translates sometimes into persistence, like they won't give up. No, I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying no matter what you say, but you learn to do it in a more respectful, God-honoring way. Yeah. Want a funny story of child uh, (laughs) and uh, this is mom. I'm not pointing at mom because she, if she was here, she would tell this story as well, but she learned something. You talk about a stubborn child mm. and how God has put us in control, not in control, but God has put us, you know, we are to bring our children and raise them up and 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 do that well, God-honoring way. Well, here's the situation. My wife was driving in the car. Our kids were little. They were both in their car seats in the back. Our daughter's uh, almost two years older than our son. My daughter kept asking that question. You know, she wanted something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mom kept on saying no. And she asked again, I said no. And, you know, finally said no. And our son, who has that stubborn trait, and he is now as an adult, very persistent, hmm. and he won't give up, yeah. you know, does it in a better way. Good. But he turned to our daughter, kind of just said it, you know, quietly, because he's only, you know, a couple years old at the two or three or whatever. After my daughter had asked mom, no, and she, no, no. And our son turned to our daughter and says, keep asking, she'll give in. <laughs> So he has that persistent, you know, and that that was a that was a red flag for my wife. It's like, okay, I get it. Thank you, God. I understand. You know, so this is gonna be tough. Yeah, There's one is, thing you could think there too. Right. Wow. So, so yeah, I, I've seen that stubbornness in my son turn in to keep keep keep, keep it up. She'll give in eventually. He's like, I've already been here. I already know how this goes. Yeah. Oh, but here's another one. How about resisting authority? That's not good. We shouldn't do that. Mm, we right. should respect authority. Yeah, that's in the Bible for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes a child can resist authority, but in the right way, nurtured properly and giving it to God can become leadership. Wow. Right. Right. Yeah. I don't know. No, 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 no. That's true. Yeah. You know, knowing what needs to get done in a situation. Hmm. Intense emotions. Maybe yeah. that becomes steered the correct way. Passion. Right. For something. sure. You know, sometimes we say, don't act that way. Don't act that, you know, if someone's, ex- you know, whatever the emotion mm-hmm. is. And sometimes we try to squelch that emotion. Well, if they feel that emotion, you know, they have that emotion. That's a real emotion. Yes. Well, just, you know, steer it with God's leading in the proper way. So, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Not trying to get them to, to be less emotional. Right. Like just be more in, in knowing how to use those for the right reasons. That's good, too. And one that I'm I wasn't very good at teaching because I was I'm I'm, I'm a, I was always the parent. I'm not sure if you're like this or, you know, when the kids are little and they're on, I don't know, like a playground thing 
or whatever that looks could be a little bit dangerous and and they're just running around on it or way up and you're like uh, uh, you know you're yeah. trying to catch them just in case yeah and be or be careful watch out don't do that you're going to get hurt you know right the old parent you're going to get hurt well how about if your child has a little bit of recklessness in them that can become courage wow they're more courageous perhaps than we even mm. are so mm. yes do it carefully obviously right. don't be reckless but recklessness can become courageous and because you we all know kids and people and even adults who are you know will try something a little bit more dangerous in, in a way than than other people will so i'm not doing that yeah right i think about well so i'm gonna go to my own again here like where we are right now i mean right in the prime time age for these kind of things with a two-year-old there will be things like you know climbing up stuff that i'll help her do and she'll she'll undo it she'll go back down hmm. after daddy helped her She'll do it herself and then say, I did it. I'm like, wow, you wanted to know. And maybe I was fearful. And sometimes it's warranted. It might actually be like, no, no, you, you this is not something for a two-year-old to do. But in other cases, it's like, wow, you wanted to know what you could do on your own and like be in charge of that. And I'm thinking I've, I've, yeah, absolutely. I'm still dad, but there's hmm. there. I I've, can only imagine Steve, how that's got to change as the years go on realizing you, you gotta step back and let them say, I did it a lot of the time. I have no statistics to back this up, but I can't, um, I can't imagine this, that uh, many of our police force and firefighters and first responders and all those kind of people. I'm just guessing. Again, no stats to back this up. But we talk about maybe very good chance when they were children, they were a little bit what some people would say reckless. Mm -hmm. They're going to try something that nobody else would. And now as adults, they're using that uh, characteristic or trait into something good. Because we all said this. It's like, I'd run away from that. They're running toward it. They're yeah. run toward a problem. That's courageous. Yeah. Some people could say, well, as, as younger, that's reckless. But recklessness can turn into something mm -hmm. that can help us. And and so I'm I'm thankful for all the things that God has given all of us, right? Yeah. And he's given all of us different things. Yeah, right. Kids are not. We've all got traits. Maybe you're mm -hmm. even just able to look at your own traits. Like I can think of a number in myself, like, okay, worrying or this or that. And realizing, okay, maybe that's my natural inclination. And on my own, I mean, any of our inclinations, even our good traits will become bad if they just stay with us. Mm. I mean, that's like what the Bible talks about when we hear about the flesh. Like it's this idea that there's sin in just in us and things in our own hands are going to turn south. Any of these traits, even the ones if they look bad, maybe even on the outset, I, I think there's a really good point to that, Steve. Put them in God's hands. See what he can form out of it. See what he can do in it. Yeah, in your kids, but... Also, when, he, when we give him those traits from our own hearts, too. God can turn and does turn graves into gardens. We weren't sure how you liked your coffee, so we didn't make any. Hope that's okay. It's Rise Up with Steve and Tim on Family Life. You know what beats learning from someone else's mistakes? Chocolate cake. Yes. How did you know? That's I don't exactly know. Just a what guess I, I had. Well, that some, wasn't exactly what yeah, I was going to say. But uh, it's true. That's better than someone else's mistakes. Yeah. Also, learning from your own victories oh i like that learning from your own victories mm. and like seeing them wherever they pop up i'm thinking about the zucchini the proliferous zucchini oh. plant oh. of the summer of 2022 steve i remember me. that oh it was the first That's time right. my That's wife right. and i had ever had a garden right and man the squash that thing put out that year mm. i mean i felt like i was like master gardener mm. powers over here i, I that's just what zucchini do. It wasn't me. I was doing anything special. But man, like every night, grilled zucchini, fried zucchini, zucchini. What do we want to do with zucchini? It was a little victory. But because of that one proliferous zucchini plant, yes. like I still enjoy to, to garden to this day. It has never turned out as well as it did that first year. But you know what? Without that little victory, I wouldn't have seen, hey, this can be something. So I'm just thinking of whatever it is today. Something that goes right. Something that didn't mess up. If it's a victory, celebrate it. Right. It can be as big of a deal as you need it to be. Celebrate the little things because little victories are still victories. That's right. Celebrate. Yeah. Have some chocolate cake. Oh, that's a victory <laughs> in my, my book. <laughs> Come closer to the radio so we can see you. Wow, you look great today. This is Rise Up on Family Life. 
We're not supposed to worry about tomorrow. Mm. How many times have we heard that? Yeah. Well, it's a good word, uh, but here we go. Uh, there are many right now that don't have power. Sure. Uh, maybe they've lost uh, close ones uh, in storms or, or whatever. Yeah. And you're wondering, yeah. right now, maybe your thought one minute ago was, what am I going to do tomorrow? What am I going to do about this situation? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't have power. What am I going to do about my food? What, I don't have this. What am I going to do? And there's all these things yeah. that are overwhelming you, and rightly so, you're thinking about them. Mm-hmm. You should think about them. But they can be overwhelming. And I only go back to personal experience, and the experience what I was going through is not the important thing. It's God's Word that's the important thing. When we hear, you're not supposed to worry about tomorrow— Many times for me during my toughest times, it's been, I'm not supposed to worry about 10 minutes from now. Wow. Right? Or wow. later today. Or yeah. make it, there was many times where I would say, okay, I don't know about later, but okay, I'm walking. Hmm. I can, the sun's shining outside. I can take a step. Wow. I can every do. Every little thing. Th- yeah, every little thing I would, and, and being thankful for it. Thank you, Lord, that I can here right now yeah. thank you lord that i can speak right now thank you lord that and i know that seems really specific but we're not supposed to worry about tomorrow and many times you're so overwhelmed the encouragement this morning comes from we're not supposed to worry about five minutes from now yeah, that is a good word well it's a good word because it's god's word mm, definitely Anyone else wish morning started just a little later? Yeah, we get that. It's Rise Up on Family Life. Every four years, there's a presidential election, which often determines America's direction. But it also creates a great divide, and people's unhappy feelings no longer hide. Cars are plastered with political stickers, people saying unkind things on Twitter. It's like neighbors are against their neighbors. Extended families become like traitors, all to place their bona fide bet on one person they've never met. But what if instead we chose to be kind, not pointing fingers, but dug deep to find what makes us the same, not what makes us different, not being defensive, but being deliberate, not allowing politics to separate the nation. I mean, even the Founding Fathers learned cooperation. But a nation isn't a nation if people don't choose to care. So agree to disagree, then bow your head in prayer. May the blessings of the Lord be with you in all that you do today. This is Rise Up on Family Life.